I don't understand the point of y'all not subscribing. You're here already. You might as well. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Maisha Chantel. If this is your first time here, just make sure you hit that subscribe button below, turn on your post notifications, and go watch my other videos. But if you're returning, thank you so much for your unconditional support because you truly are a real one. <coughs> and I don't know where I would be without you guys because my views are going up, my subscribers are going up, everything is going up for me. So I'm really, really excited. And I sound like a man because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm recording a video for you guys that I should have recorded yesterday. But anywho, that's besides the point. So, lastly, before I actually get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications, okay? Because you guys want to stay updated when I drop this content, especially when it's educational. So, so as you guys um, may know that by watching my other videos, I have did videos on the ATIT's math section, science section, reading section, and this video is strictly going to be about the English section of the ATIT's version 6. I know with the um, coronavirus going around, a lot of schools have closed down um, for the entire semester and have pushed back um, the ATIT's version 6 test to a later date. So you're having more time to prepare for that test. And guys, use this time wisely, honestly, because I know it seems like it's a crazy situation, but you got to look at, think about the positives from the situation. With that being said, um, the English section was the, the lowest score of all four of my sections. I did make an 80 on the English section, but overall I made, um, I scored in the advanced category. I'm just about to give y'all some tips, some tricks, some advice, whatever you want to call it on just how to score with an 80 or above. Because some guys, um, some people are scoring lower or whatever, and you just need some different methods of studying, I guess. So, English section, I strictly use this book, ATIT Secrets by Mometrics. This is the only book that you will need when you're preparing yourself for the English section. I promise to God, this is the only book you would need. This book is so informative on that section. It's crazy. You can get this book at Barnes & Noble's, Amazon, between $37 to $40. You will not need any other study material while preparing yourself for that um, this section. Because this little book itself will do you justice. And let me... Yeah. Let me get and see. I bookmark every section. <laughs> so it has so much information. Like so much. So much information for this. And it gives you some practice tests. So with the English section. Um, other materials that I did use was the ATI pocket prep, but that was strictly for review only. It just quizzed me on some stuff. And I did watch some of Caroline McAllister videos, some, not all. Um, for me, she was okay. I... I really didn't take her advice because she was, it was she was just like, it was weird how she did, like, choose this answer and move on. Like, I'm a very, very analytical person, and I'm just not going to go with someone's advice about just watch some of them because she was helpful in some of the categories, like the subject-verb agreement. That was very helpful. That's the only thing I got to say about her. But with this Mometrics book, 
it's actually videos that you can um like right here it says a review video you can go it gives you a code that you can go on their um website and review that subject that you just reviewed and that's what I did really um I used their codes went on their website looked at some of the videos and then I just took my own notes like from this book and wrote them on a piece of paper and because honestly English is somewhat like science if you can memorize some of the definitions and how the words are used and commonly misspelled words you'll be okay with the English section and honestly with this section guys I like I did with the math I only prepared about a week for this section so if I would have prepared more for this section I probably would have scored higher <laughs> like in my other sections I did but I didn't put as much preparation in for this section and that's why my score reflected but I still think I did a pretty good job overall so the things y'all probably wondering what did I see on my test so the things that I seen um, these are my notes there's four pages front and back and so let's see I'm just gonna look at the pages and definitely tell you guys what you need to know so the things that I saw on my test when I took it Definitely no noun, the definition in how to find a noun, no pronoun, verbs, um, no the, like the tenses, present, past, future, definitely no those, definitely no present, perfect, past, perfect, and future perfect tenses as well, no adjectives, adverbs, Prepos prepositions, no um, first, second, and third person, singular and plural, no simple sentences, compound sentences, complex sentences, simple, I mean, compound complex sentences, just know the definition for all of those and how to find or know what is a simple sentence. For example, a simple sentence is one subject and one predicate. One independent causes with no subordinate causes. Meaning that a simple sentence, an example, would be Sally walked to the store. It's a complete sentence. No commonly misspelled words. There's If you buy that book, the Yellow Mometrics book, it will have like 50 to 100 commonly misspelled words that you can look at. I'm telling you guys. A commonly misspelled word that was on my test was recommended. And I know how to spell recommended and I got it right. But I was just like, it had me second guessing myself like, I don't know how to spell recommended. Know how to spell those um, commonly misspelled words. Okay. Got that. Capitalization, um, definitely know what words should be capitalized in a sentence. For example, like the first word of a sentence, proper nouns and adjectives that came from proper nouns, days, months, holidays, directional names when referring to certain areas, but not when referring to a direction, all important words in a title and kinships. Names only if they are used as a part or as part or whole of a proper noun. So that's what I mean by capitalization. No subject, know how to find a subject, the predicate. Definitely no subject verb agreement, pronoun antecedent. Know how to find know how to find tone, know what formal and informal writing is. Uh, know what conjunctions are. I saw a few of those online. Know interjections. Know how to use periods and what periods are for. I didn't have, did I have this? 
I think I saw one question with uh, declarative, imperative, interrogative, and it's, um, exclamatory sentences. Just know the definition of those. That's, that's really easy. Why a comma is used. Know why a semicolon is used. Know why colons are used. Know why apostrophes are used. And know why a hyphen is used. You definitely going to know what those, how those five are used. Because I saw a couple of questions is, um, which cynic structure is the correct? And it will have commas. Sometimes it will have um, colons, semicolons. And you just got to know the definition of how to properly use those. And that's all the notes that I took, guys. I can. Do I want to type these up? I don't know yet. That's still up in the air. So if you would like for me to type these notes up in a Word document and email them out to people, subscribe to my channel first, like this video second, Comment below, thirdly. And I will be checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. But definitely, um, if you want me to type my notes up in a Word doc document and send them out to you guys, just for real, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. And um, based on the comments and the likes and the subscribers, I'll type it up for you guys and send it out via email. If you need help with um, English notes, just somebody else's eye. So that is the end of this video. I hope this video um, was very, very informative to you guys, helpful in some type of way. If not, I'm sorry. But hey, <laughs> thank you guys again for tuning into my video. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to subscribe and go check out my other videos. Thank you guys again and I will see you guys later.